Hello, my name is Chris. In this tutorial, I will show you how to fix an um, image sequence import problem. I recently uh, bumped into this and I had it before, so I'm going to show you how to fix it. So I bought this little uh, camera, action camera, Xtreme X6. It's uh, fairly cheap and um, I bought it because the GoPro is much too expensive and it's uh, I only use it for, for as a third camera. So uh, it's really good. Uh, I thought I used it to make uh, a time lapse. And uh, when I uh, imported it, it doesn't uh, show the image sequence. Uh, normally the image sequence compiles all the photos into one video, making every photo one frame of the video. Uh, but in this instance, it didn't work. And that's because the naming of the photos isn't good. It doesn't go from 1 to 2 to 3, it goes from 1 to 5 to 9 to 3 to 8. So it won't see it as an image sequence. As you can see with these uh, photos I took with the drone, uh, you can select image sequence and all the numbers are following up. That's why it sees this as an image sequence. Okay, so here you can see from the drone this is now one video. To solve the problem, you'll have to make a new folder. I'm going to name this time lapse Extreme. I'm going to open the folder and I'm going to press Ctrl I or double click to import photos. I open the folder and I select all the photos by pressing Ctrl A or going to the first one and then the last, hold shift and click. And I'm going to open them or import. So now all the files are imported. The first thing to do is to sort the photos by name. So they are in the good order. So one at the first on top and the last one at the bottom. As you can see. And then I'm going to have to select all the photos. and I can drag them onto the timeline. So now there's a little problem because every photo is two seconds long. You can see, so that is a really slow time lapse. What we want to do is we want to delete all the photos. Then we have to go to edit preferences and go to timeline and here we can adjust the time every photo is so every still image default duration we're going to put this to one frame press ok again and now we can import all the photos again by pressing ctrl a to select all and we're going to open them be sure to sort them again by name, but this is still on in, in this instance. Um, select all the photos, one, drag them into the timeline, and as you can see now, it's a time lapse as it should be. There's only one problem, uh, it's too big, and so we're going to adjust the size. We're going to go to effect control, select the first one. Put this to 50%, maybe a bit smaller. We're going to copy this motion, so select it, press, press Ctrl C, select every other photo. If you zoom out, you can select them all and press Ctrl V. So now the size is on all the photos and the time lapse is finished. So that was my quick tip to fix the image sequence problem in Premiere. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more tutorials, follow my channel. Thank you for watching.